Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to deal with word problems that involve digits. So in these types of problems in your book, you'll see a lot of things uh, talking about uh, the tens digit and the hundreds digit and so on, and how they're related to each other. And a lot of times they'll ask you to find the number. So they'll say something like the tens digit is two more than the ones digit, or whatever, and you'll give, be given some information, and they'll generally say, well, find the number, okay? So, uh, you know, that can be kind of confusing when, when you first start to tackle it, but we'll take it step by step through some problems here, and I think it'll be clear. So the first problem that we're going to do today goes like this. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11, okay? If the tens digit is three less than the ones digit, find the number, okay? So the first thing we have to do, just like we have to do with any of these problems, is, uh, is we're going to understand what it's actually asking us, okay? So we have a two-digit number, and we're going to be asked to find the number. So there's two digits, one, two, okay? The sum of the digits in these numbers must be equal to 11, okay? And if the tens digit is three less than the ones digit, then we have to find the number. So let's do that. Okay, first thing we're going to do, since we're talking about this, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about tens digit and ones digit. So if, if we have the, the number 24, okay, uh, we'll tell you something that you probably already know, okay. This digit is going to be called the ones digit, okay, and this digit is called the tens digit. And if I had a number in front, like 324, that would be the hundreds digit and so on and so forth. This is stuff you already know, okay? Uh, in this problem, okay, we don't know what the number is, okay? But we know it's a two-digit digit number, and we're trying to find what these digits are, so we're going to say the digit's going to look like x, y, okay? Now, this is not x times y. That's not what I'm trying to say here. All I'm trying to say is we have a two-digit number, okay? And this is the tens digit, which is x, and this is the ones digit, which is y. These are not multiplied together. This would be like 24 or 32 or 47 or something like this. But the digit here is going to be x, and the digit here is going to be y. That's all I'm trying to say there, okay? So given that my number is going to have a, a digit and another digit, let's look, go back to our problem. The sum of the two digits has, must be equal to 11. So that must be that x plus y is equal to 11. Okay, that's one part of the problem here, okay? Now let's move on into the, to the next part of the problem. If the tens digit, which is this one, okay, is three less than the ones digit, okay, that's the next part. So the tens digit, which is x, is three less than the ones digit, okay? So that's the other part of the equation here. So now I have two equations and two unknowns, and I can solve, solve them. And let's go back and just trace our steps here. We said there's a two-digit number with a digit here and another digit following, okay? And the problem says that the sum of these two digits must be equal to 11, we've got that marked, and it says that the tens digit, which is this one, is three less than the ones digit, okay? So here's our equation, so let's solve. So let's plug in x in here, and, and we'll go about our business. We'll plug this in, we'll say y minus three, we're just plugging into here, plus y is equal to 11. We just plugged in into that equation there, okay? y plus y gives you 2y, okay? Uh, we'll just keep our minus 3 is equal to 11, okay? Now let's move the 3 over. 2y is equal to, uh, th we'll just add 3. 3 plus 3 is 0. So on the other side, 11 plus 3 uh, gives you 14, okay? We just added 3 to both sides. Uh, 